So you've learned about Loom and you've heard about this call to action thing. Um, let's, let's go over here. Okay. So Loom has got this awesome feature where you can, um, essentially you put a button into the video in the top right corner. And when students click on it, they'll go to a website. So you could be talking about something and then you can say like, to find out more information, go to the button you see on the screen and they could do that. Okay. Um, so let's show you how to do this. So, so you got a loom video here that's been created. Okay. Down here, you're going to see call to action. All right. So let's click on call to action. All right. So, um, let's do this. So I've got my website, Backstar Fishing. Okay. Let's say I made a video about my fishing uh, company um, and I wanted people to do a call to action. I want them to go to my website and book a trip. Okay. So this is one thing that's common. It's like, what the heck? It's not working because it should say save. You got to pick the button's color. Okay. You got to pick color for text before it's going to allow you to save it. Okay. You can choose the corners of it, however you want. That's going to be of the button. All right, but let's click save. Okay, now look at this. In the top right corner, you'll now see that. Okay, so let's hit play again here. Watch again. Okay, so right, here's my video. The didn't come, we should be good. Or blah, 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 he's loud. Okay, <laughs> but now look, you see that in the top right corner. Okay, so there's so many different things that you can do with this. All right, it's called a call to action. Um, use it with, with uh, Loom. Use it today.